Hi, I'm Steve Young. I'm a product specialist at uh, Astronics Test Systems. Um, these videos uh, are intended to answer some of the more frequent questions that I get asked when I'm out doing my training. And this video it will answer the question of can I quickly add a device to the library without much effort? I'll show you how to do it. Um, so we, we have a device here. Uh, we're looking to add this to our library. Uh, it's an Austin Semiconductor MT5C2568 and it's a 32K by 8 SRAM. So nothing special, nothing spectacular. Uh, we'll just take a look and see if we can add it. So the first thing we do, we go to our Libraries tab in Test View um, and we take a look in the, in the library. Our library holds about over 50,000 unique devices. So most devices, uh, there's a pretty good chance it's already in the library, but we'll, we'll, we'll double check. So if we type in MT5C and we can see there are th already three MT devices in the library, but not the one we want. Um, so in this case, we switch to description and we scroll down to our SRAM. There's our SRAM section. We open up the SRAM section and now we need to look for 32K by eight. And we scroll down and there's our 32K by eight devices. Uh, we scroll down, you can see there's a, a lot of devices already in the library. Uh, but what we're looking for is exact pin for pin identical device. Um, and stopping on 62256 for no other reason than there's a similar similar kind of part number there. So it, 256, 256 in there. You may have to search a couple of devices to see if you can find uh, uh, an exact pin for pin copy. Uh, but so what we do is we'll open up the 62256 and we see it's a 32K and when we open it up we'll see that it points to the functional pattern in the long RAM library. Okay, so, so what we do, we go to our functional library, we go to our long RAM folder, and we scroll down and we find our 62256, and we open it up. So this is the functional pattern that will be executed when we, when we test it. And what we're gonna do is create a link from this device, if it, if it, if it matches, to our, our new device. So we right click and we look at our data sheet. And when our data sheet opens up, we need to look at the pin configuration. So, so, so here's the pin configuration. And we call up our data sheet. And what we need to, to do is to make sure that it's exactly the same. Uh, so we, we look over here and we've got pin one is address pin 14. And on our new device, pin one is address pin 14. Uh, we look at some other pins, we look at uh, VCC, pin 28, and we see that's the same too. We check the control pins, so we've got write enables on 27, that's the same. We've got output enable on 22, that's the same. Chip select or chip enable, that's the same as well. And the data pins are all in the same position too, and ground on pin 14. So we have an exact match, pin for pin, exactly the same. So what we do now is we use our existing functional pattern that is exactly pin for pin the same and we create a functional link. So we close our data sheet, we go back to our libraries tab and now we go to device and add functional link. So, so here we add our new device MT5C, <coughs> excuse me, 2568 and we're going to store that in our, our long RAM. So there's our RAM long library. Here's our existing device, 62256, in the long RAM folder. So this is the functional pattern that will be called up when we execute this device. Click OK. And now we have our new device, as simple as that. So MT52568 is now linked to the long RAM 62256. So when we place our new device on our PCB, we will be using an existing pattern to test that device from our library. Okay, thanks for watching.